crucial victory for President Biden. Democrats now have control of the United States Senate. That's a terrible night for Republicans. The Republican Party needs to do a really deep introspection look in the mirror right now. I never expected that we were going to turn these red counties blue. If they win, I should get all the credit. And if they lose, I should not be blamed at all. Donald Trump didn't change the Republican Party. He revealed it. I don't believe we're in elections right now that are about right versus left or Democrat versus Republican. There's no saving this party. It's a pro-democracy coalition against this authoritarian movement. The whole idea is like you can't yell fire in a crowded theater. That's all these people do all day. The MAGA mandate doesn't require governing. It's never been about that. They yell fire in a crowded theater the size of the United States of America. The MAGA mandate has been about democracy denying, about undermining our elections and institutions, about sowing division, chaos. What we've been doing for a long time is splitting off small amounts of Trump's vote. We call it the Bannon line. Those people who were once part of your GOP base, they don't they don't recognize that. There's a crack in the Republican base. That's not who they are anymore. This year, the Bannon line expanded not from 3 to 8 percent, but from 7 to 11 percent. At the start of this thing, we identified three existential threats to democracy. The governor's races in Michigan, in Wisconsin, in Pennsylvania. Well, they're busy looking at our head fake with a couple of ads getting into Ron DeSantis's cage. We were whacking them from the other side, and that's exactly what we did. We are an iceberg. On the tip of the iceberg, you see the cool viral ad, and you think that's all we do. We are crafty motherfuckers. We're not trying to save the Republican Party. We're trying to burn the Republican Party to the ground.